Off beat. Of stories that are not necessarily the news. All right, let's go back in time. So, uh, James Garfield, the 20th century of the United States, so that's way back. Because we know it, number what, 45? Yeah, yeah or 46. Which is it? 45? 45. But Bill Clinton, uh, no, 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 Obama was 44. Uh, that guy was 45. And um, now it's 46, I think. Uh, anyhow, so James Garfield, 20th century, uh, 20th president, so that's way back, de developed a new proof for the Pyth Pythagorean theorem. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not much into... Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras. The, 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 Pythagoras. Yeah, yeah, from, the, from Pythagoras, yes. But yeah. Pythagorean theorem, while discussing math with some members of the Congress of the United States. His proof was published in a peer-reviewed journal. Okay, um, so so much for the theorem. <laughs> so much as well, much as I did with it. <laughs> did you know that the Vatican, Karishma, has its own telescope staffed by priests and has previously been given awards for the pursuit of scientific research? Wow, oh, I actually didn't know that. You didn't know that? Yeah, I'll look into it. No. <laughs> Okay, uh, with 2020 vision, I hope. Yeah. Uh, ever heard of the German Wings Flight 9525 crash? Uh, the co-pilot deliberately crashed the plane into a mountainside. Um, after locking the captain out of the cockpit, the co-pilot had hidden the fact that his doctor had been treating him for suicidal tendencies and declared him unfit to work. Oh. This happened not so long ago. This is a this is this happened while since Capital Media has been on air. I'm fairly sure of that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 150 people died in that. They were pounding apparently on the door. I'm not sure how we knew that, but uh, you know, trying to get out, get in. Yeah. Now, um, now mosquitoes. You know, we all we know that tiny little creature that goes. It's giving you the queasies. <laughs> you know how they get your blood from you? No, they use six needles to suck your blood. What? Six boy. Big on. <laughs> Yeah, alcohol, we're going to keep spraying. All right. Now, Stalin, the, the Russian dictator, uh, struggled with depression, and he summoned a renowned Russian psychiatrist, Vladimir Bektorev, to examine him. After the examination, Bektorev said only one word, paranoia. You know, there was a sequel to that. You know what it was? The very next day, Bektorev died from what was believed to be poisoning. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Okay. Ah, boy. I tell you, better tell the patient what the patient want to hear rather than what yeah, you needed to. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Wow. You know, the man only said one word. And 24 hours later, he was dead. He said the wrong word, boy. Huh? You know, he should have said, that is good. That is good. It's all good. Yeah, boy. Yeah. And walk out of there and say, boy, not me and that. Yeah. <laughs> that crazy man. I'm a mad boy. <laughs> wow. wow. Didn't know that story, did you? No. Neither did I until I read it. But well, there you have it. Those are some things that.